very overwhelmed and feel very privileged to have been given this amazing uh, award and a real honour, uh, not just for me, but also my team. Um, we've been working in, in the area of energy for quite some time now and, and they've really, without a strong research team behind you, um, you can't do the sort of things that we've been doing and want to continue to do in the future. So I'm very, very honoured. That's been amazing, actually, my move here um, just on a year ago now. Um, I, I chose to, to make a, a jump from one university to another um, because I wanted a sort of slightly smaller environment, more people-oriented environment, um, and it's given opportunities for me and my group um, to expand and to grow and, and, uh, and hopefully be able to do some really positive um, research in, in, the, in the energy field. One of the key areas we work in is looking at new materials um, for um, energy storage and energy gener generation, in particular energy storage, so battery supercapacitors, um, looking at being able to uh, develop new battery technologies which can be utilised, for example, in electric vehicles, but even more so, I think, being able to store the energy that we might make from solar and wind or wave energy uh, at times when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow um, so that we can actually use that energy at those times through um, storage in, in, in batteries. Um, so that's what we want to try and develop in, in, the, in, the, in the future. Although we're a small country, we are one of the biggest polluters um, per capita in the world, next to probably some other Asian neighbours. Um, and I think we have the opportunity here, we have some great technology, some great scientists, um, and we have the opportunity to actually make a difference to lead, um, by example, so we can start to utilise coal less and move more and more towards the sun, solar energy and wind power, and we have obviously lots of sun here, um, so we, we should be making use of that uh, and, and, and leading the way, I think, in the world. I think we have been doing research um, for, for a number of years in energy generation um, and, and in fact with the Australian Solar Institute now putting quite a large uh, amount of money into energy generating technologies um, around Australia. So that's been a, a big push but energy storage has been less so, more so for electric vehicles, lithium batteries, lithium ion batteries for example. But now we're recognising the need to be able to utilise solar and wind and, and, and wave or, or other renewable uh, energy to move away from coal. And, and we're realising that we need to, to get more penetration of those uh, renewables into the grid um, so we get to utilise those. We need storage, low levelling storage devices. And so now there's a bigger push towards developing those technologies um, and new materials to actually enable those technologies, which is where my group hopefully will be able to contribute. It's, it's, a, it, it's a real... Um, bonus to have so the ability to have five years of funding to be able to really focus on on developing um, both the science the materials for the energy storage technologies and other, other energy technologies also to make those linkages both within Australia and internationally with other people doing related research and hopefully in five years time we'll have provided a solution to to um, some of our energy storage problems that we, we currently face and start to use coal less and um, improve our uh, environment Thank you.